In 1996, Dolly the sheep made headlines around the world after becoming the first mammal to be successfully cloned from an adult cell. Many commentators thought this would catalyze a golden age of cloning, with numerous voices speculating that the first human clone must surely be just a few years away. Some people suggested that human clones could play a role in eradicating genetic diseases, while others considered that the cloning process could eventually eliminate birth defects. Despite research by a group of French scientists in 1999 finding that cloning may actually increase the risk of birth defects. There have been various claims, all unfounded but important to add, of successful human cloning programs since the success of Dolly. In 2002, Brigitte Boiselier, a French chemist and devout supporter of realism, a UFO religion based on the idea that aliens created humanity, claimed that she and a team of scientists had successfully delivered the first clone human, whom she named Eve. However, Boiselier was unwilling or indeed unable to provide any evidence, and so it is widely believed to be a hoax. So why? Almost 30 years on from Dolly, haven't humans been cloned yet? Is it primarily for ethical reasons? Are there technological barriers? Or is it simply not worth doing? Hi, this is Sudhir Talati and today we'll find out why haven't we cloned a human yet? Cloning is a broad term, given it can be used to describe a range of processes and approaches, but the aim is always to produce genetically identical copies of a biological entity according to the National Human Genome Research Institute that is NHGRI. Any attempted human cloning would most likely utilize reproductive cloning techniques, an approach in which a mature somatic cell, most probably a skin cell, would be used. According to NHGRI, the DNA extracted from this cell would be placed into the egg cell of a donor that has had its own DNA containing nucleus removed. The egg would then begin to develop in a test tube before being implanted into the womb of an adult female, according to NHGRI. However, while scientists have cloned many mammals, including cattle, goats, rabbits and cats, humans have not made the list. I think there is no good reason to make human clones. Hank Greeley, a professor of law and genetics at Stanford University who specializes in ethical, legal and social issues arising from advances in the biosciences told Life Science in an email. Human cloning is a particularly dramatic action and was one of the topics that helped launch American bioethics, Greeley added. The ethical concerns around human cloning are many and varied. According to Britannica, the potential issues encompass psychological, social, and physiological risks. These include the idea that cloning could lead to a very high likelihood of loss of life, as well as concerns around cloning being used by supporters of eugenics. Furthermore, according to Britannica, cloning could be deemed to violate principles of human dignity, freedom, and equality. In addition, the cloning of mammals has historically resulted in extremely high rates of death and developmental abnormalities in the clones. Another core issue with human cloning is that, rather than creating a carbon copy of the original person, it would produce an individual with their own thoughts and opinions. We have all known clones. Identical twins are clones of each other. And thus we all know that clones are in the same person, really explained. A human clone, really continued, would only have the same genetic makeup as someone else. They would not share other things such as personality, morals, or sense of humor. These would be unique to both parties. People are, as we all know, far more than simply a product of their DNA. While it is possible to reproduce genetic material, it is not possible to exactly replicate living environments create an identical upbringing, or have two people encounter the same life experiences. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is the fuel for me to make such informative content like this. Thank you for watching.